today's lesson is on how do we read, I'm sorry, how do we write and read numbers aloud. So the first thing we're going to talk about is writing numbers. And we learned yesterday about periods in place value and how periods are groups of three digits and they're separated by commas. And you can see that here. Here we have our units period, which we don't say. We don't say the ones period, but it's 242. And here the three is in the thousands unit. And so you can see that. When writing the number in word form, if there is no decimal, there should be no and in the written number. A lot of people want to say 300, 3,200 and 42, but that's not right. There should be no and if it is a whole number and not a decimal. And then place the comma in the word form. That's important to remember. It still denotes that you're moving to another period. Now, hint, when writing the number in word form, you simply write the value of each number. So what's the value of the three in the thousands place? We've learned this before. It's 3,000. And then we have 200, 40, and two. So that's our number, 3,242. That's all you have to do. Reading a number aloud. This can be a little bit more tricky if you don't know what you're doing. So we read the number just like you would write it, which we already know. But what happens with the comma? You do not have to include the comma when reading the number aloud. So I wouldn't say 3,000 comma when I was reading it aloud. I would simply say 3,242, just like I would write it. Now, when reading it aloud and you haven't written it before, you can group each period together. For example, 242 is 242, we know that. So we can use the comma to remind us to say the name of the period. So here we have three in the thousands period. So we'd say 3,000 and then group that whole unit together, 242. It's that simple. Now, we're going to try this at our seats. Let's look at this number. Here you have a number of five digits. You can use your place value mat if you'd like. We're going to write the number and then you're going to read it aloud to a friend. Okay? So go ahead, start writing your number down with your dry erase marker and your place value mat. And we'll go over it as you talk to a friend. <laughs> 